Here we have done the armhole binding. This is the view from the wrong side and this is the view from the right side. Next, we will fold and press 1.5 cm of the garment hem towards the wrong side. As some knit fabric is hard to iron, you can use a water-soluble double-sided tape to help with the hemming. If you don't have that, using clips would work too. Once you have folded and pressed the hem, use a cover stitch machine or twin needles to finish the hem. Here, the hemming of the top is done. We can now put the top aside and work on the cape sleeve. You should have marked the notches to match the shoulder seams and center back. We will now work on hemming the cape hemline. Fold and press 1 cm of the right cape hem towards the wrong side. Here I have put some water soluble tape which I found to be very useful when working with knit fabrics as knit fabric generally doesn't iron well. Put the tape around the hemline. Then we will remove the backing and fold and stick 1cm to the wrong side of the cape. This tape will dissolve in water and hence removed once the garment is washed. Continue to do so for the rest of the hemline, then use a cover stitch machine or twin needles to finish the hem. Here the hemming is done. This is how it looks from the wrong side and here's the right side. Now we will finish the front and back which are the straight sides of the cape. I am using a hem measuring ruler here. It's a very useful tool where you can just slide the stopper to the desired measurements and use it to mark off the measurement on the fabric. Here I'm marking off twice the desired amount, so around 1.4 cm and then folding the edge to meet the mark. I will then need to fold in one more time so that it's a double turn. Here, I am showing you the side that I have done earlier. You will need to fold in once and then another time to the wrong side. Repeat for all the edges of the kit. Once the double folding is done, we will top stitch with the right side up at 5mm from the edge. Here, all the edges of the cape are finished. With both the right sides of the top and cape facing you, Take the left cape and match the front edge of the cape to the notch on the front neckline. Then match the shoulder seam notches. And the center back notches. We will be sewing at 7 mm seam allowance. Here we have attached the left cape to the top. We will now match and sew the right cape to the top.
The right cape overlaps part of the left cape at the back. We'll sew around the right neckline at 7mm seam allowance. 